What's up, YouTube? This is Xander with Next Air Gaming, and today I'm here with first place himself. What's your name? Jared. All right, what's you playing today? I was playing Fluffle, the most cracked deck there is. <laughs> All right, let's see it. All right, so start the monsters, three penguin. Uh, starts a lot of your plays, helps you make Toad, and having Toad and uh, Scythe or like Toad Dragoon is nuts. Also, the draw to discard one, uh, having like uh, essentially for heroes like a solid and a liquid soldier all in one card uh, where it turbos out more cards and then also draws you cards. It's, it's an ignition effect special fluffle. Um, yeah. And then next we have three dog. Just your Stratos of the deck. You sit normal summon or special, search one, either a Edge of Sabres or a uh, Fluffle card. Then we have Two Bear. He gets you the Toy Vendors. Uh, because, like, Toy Vendor pitching a Toy Vendor's nuts. Uh, so you just, you always want to have a Toy Vendor in rotation. So having Two Bear uh, as searchable is really good. The second half of your uh, Toad, how to make Bahamut Shark and then Toad, is Dolphin. Uh, Dolphin will reset a toy vendor and then send a thing. Most of the time that's going to be Wings. They'll foolish that from deck. Uh, so it's just a way to recycle your toy vendors. Uh, and then this, Wings, lets you draw two and then send a toy vendor. So you draw two and then search one. This is the most busted card in the deck. Like, resolving this and getting three cards to hand is stupid. Then we have Sheep. Sheep is just an extender. Uh, it can also do cute things like uh, bounce a fluffle, then special and edge imp. So like if you want a penguin in your hand for resources to draw to, or like you need a dog for next turn, you can special an edge imp, which you don't need in your hand anyways, and then uh, make like a verte or something. Octopus. Uh, this is recursion. It also it recurs two things. When it's summoned, you grab a fluffle from graveyard. Uh, when it's used for a fusion summon, though, it returns banished. Uh, so you can return your wings back and then do it the following turn if you fusion summon with octopus. And these are all one ofs because they're all like highly searchable, either off toy vendor or off dog. Then we have the edge imp sabers, uh, the other like half of the deck. So you got one uh, Edge of Sabers, uh, he's really good at uh, putting back bricks or stacking for your Toy Vendor so that you know you're going to hit off of it. And then two Scythe, honestly I want to bump this up to three somehow because uh, it's just the most busted card in the deck. It either Bay Links protects your fusions and it allows you the fusion on your... Uh, opponent's turn. So you can fusion like a penguin, so you can go into Cruel Whale, pop a card on their field, and draw two, discard one. And then the last is Chain. Chain, uh, whenever it's sent to Graveyard, searches you a Fright for card. So it gets you either Patrick, Patchwork, which is one of your best cards, or it can search you the Miracle Fusion of the deck. And then the spiciest hand trap today, uh, Orange Light, all of your Fluffle monsters are uh, fairies. So this is a, either like a called by the grave for you or just more interruption. Because a lot of time you can just sit with like a Dragoon, uh, Orange Light, and a Scythe. So you have a ne two negates and then a pop on their turn and that's all, uh, enough a lot of the time. Then we get into the spells. Three Foolish Goods. Just helps you start your plays. You send a toy vendor to start searching, or you can send the extender repair. So really good. You want to see this pretty much every game. So it's at three. And you got the one of the more broken cards of the deck because it's all soft for once per turns on this card. Uh, you can discard a card, look at the top card of your deck, and then uh, if it's a fluffle monster, you can special any monster from your hand. And then if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can search any Fluffle or Edge of Sabers. Uh, and this is a soft once per turn, so you just keep doing it and keep resolving Toy Vendors. So you want to see as many of these as possible. Then Patchwork, another mandatory three of, because it's just a plus one. You get a Poly and an Edge of Monster. So that can be any of the Edge Imps, not just Sabers, and then a Poly. Mm -hmm. So a way to get you into your extra. Uh, repair, 
This is just an extender. You can send it off Cruel Whale. You can banish it the special Fluffle from hand. So just nice extension. Fright for a fusion. It's your miracle fusion of the deck. Uh, you can, if your Verte lives, you can Verte it out, or you can search it off uh, chain. Then two poly. It's nice seeing this, but you mainly want two just so you can resolve multiple uh, fright for patchworks because you have to have a poly in deck to resolve it. Then one called by the grave because this deck is uh, kind of glass cannony sometimes. Plus, uh, stopping the scythe lock is important, so this is a good card for it. Three droplets, sending toy vendors or edgent monsters is busted because it just pluses you and you out their board. And then the three bricks of the day. Uh, I used this seven times today, uh, and I won, I think, six out of the seven times I just hard slammed Red Eyes Fusion. It oh, was busted. You hard casted it seven yes, times? Yes, hard casted it seven oh, wow. times today. It just was glued to my hand. It was like the most annoying thing, the most, the best thing ever. I won finals by just hard slamming this. How many cards in the main? Uh, 40. Okay. And then we'll move on to the extra. Um, sword. Uh, I like sword because I want to kill my opponent and uh, it's like a way to out uh, the rank, the level 10 uh, sword soul synchro that makes everybody really like low and you can't pop them so I need somebody that can run over them in battle because even access code can't really like get big enough if there's enough banish cards that run over them. Uh, so that's why I played Sword. It could be Axis Code, I just prefer Sword. Mm -hmm. One Apo. Uh, sometimes you just like hit a bunch of toy vendors or you just have a bunch of extension and you can make an Apo, a Dragoon, and a Toad. So that, that's like the best case scenario. Uh, Verte for the Dragoon or sending a Poly or a Fright for Fusion. Uh, cross Sheep, there's turns where like you'll end on uh, sort of like an open board state with either like a Necro, which I have on the side, or a Scythe in hand, so that you can uh, just reborn on their turn and get more hand fodder for like Orange Lights or Dragoon Gates. That's it for the Link Monsters, and we have all of the uh, fusions. We have this one, uh, never came up today. I have it because it's like great for grind game. Like once you're at the end of the rope and you've gone through most of everything, and this is a nice sticky boy to put. Um, this guy is just like a regeki sometimes. He's just like, ah, oh, I fuse for three and pop three cards, or four or five. It, it's nuts. Also, necrofusioning this card is dumb. Kraken, I made him twice today. He comes up sometimes. Uh, he's great at OTKing, also if you need to send something instead of destroying it. Two, Whale. Uh, Whale's the card that you'll be summoning the most on your opponent's turn. It also gets you, sends the repair for extension, and uh, it pops cards and also just gets big. Just a big boy, and with skill drain in the format, summoning just big fusion monsters is good. Yeah, that, that card needs a hollow. Yeah, it does, desperately. And then the MVP Dragoon, DPE who. <laughs> yeah. Uh, DPE is good and all, but I'm not trying to scythe lock because we have a lot of like Flunder and Eldritch and stuff, and that just doesn't do anything to them. So make Dragoon. So it's either an Omni for my opponent or just murders control decks. And then lastly, the XCs. We have a Toad Shark. Uh, you'll go in this with Dolphin or Penguin. Uh, together make the toad toad also can get you back not just like himself so you can summon him again But you can get back a penguin or a dolphin, which is just like follow up for the next turn, which is nuts So like getting it back so that you can fuse with scythe and then draw to discard one is nuts a Zeus I never went into these either today uh, Because like sometimes you can't make toad and you can only make a uh, dweller uh, But this could be like any rank four uh, I just like Dweller because sometimes you can just win the game by just making this. It's good against PK else. as well. Yeah, good against PK. Alright, man. And then you got the side deck? Got the side as well. Got three draw. I actually, because I played against like a lot of Sword Soul, Prank Kids, and like Elbridge, I never sighted into that. Uh, I also never sighted into Lancia's. 
Even though I never played PK today. Uh, oh, oh, I guess uh, prank kids, but I never played Phantom Knights today, so uh, the Lance Youth didn't come in. Uh, what did come in, though, real, real hot, was Lightning Storms, Twins, Reboot. These were all good today. Uh, you see Reboot, you just win sometimes, especially if you can just kill them, and then just basic back row of destruction. And then if I'm going, if I know I'm going first, I'll side into the Necros. This is the main way you make Tiger to just like blow up your uh, opponent's entire board. So you can end on like a Toad, a Dragoon, Scythe in hand, and then a Necro set. So you have two popping interruptions and then two Omni negates, which is really good. Yeah, that's wild. And my matchups today were uh, it was Eldritch first, I won that. Uh, then it was Prank Kids, I lost the Prank Kids in Swiss. Uh, in time. Uh, not that it matter, he probably would have won that anyways. Uh, then third game, it was against Sword Soul. Uh, fourth game, it was... I think it was another Sword Soul. And then in Top Cut, I played uh, the new like Dino deck that sets traps and stuff against Dustin. Then I played a uh, guy who was on Prank Kids, who actually beat me in Swiss. I came back and beat him in Top Cut. He was on Prank Kids. And then I beat uh, Sword Soul for the finals. Alright. Any shoutouts or anything like that? Uh, I guess my fiance, because this is supposed to be her deck, and that's the only reason I have it. <laughs> nice. This <laughs> is because of this, so I, I'm like, I'll take it out today. She hasn't played it yet, so take All it out right. for a spin. Well, thank you for sharing. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Next there is now.